India's recent G20 presidency marked a historic milestone, being the first to usher the African Union into the group as a permanent member. A strong symbol of solidarity and cooperation across the global south. India, home to one-sixth of humanity, plays an unparalleled role in our global mission for a better, more sustainable world. Let me begin by warmly thanking the permanent mission of India to the United Nations for inviting me to today's significant event centered on the theme of great importance. India's recent G20 presidency marked a historic milestone, being the first to usher the African Union into the group as a permanent member. A strong symbol of solidarity and cooperation across the global south. India, home to one-sixth of humanity, plays an unparalleled role in our global mission for a better, more sustainable world. Colleagues, India's legacy of contributions serves as a guiding light encompassing endeavors such as championing democracy, promoting women-led development, and being among the pioneers in adopting the UN's global goals. Indeed, it is a matter of great honor for me to follow in the footsteps of Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit, the first ever female president of the General Assembly, whom India proudly entrusted to the United Nations. Excellencies, our enduring partnership from the UN's heart to India's remotest villages serves as an inspiration to the Global South. Today's event echoes the messages of the G20. Vashudaiva Katumba Katum, I'm determined to say this correctly. I practiced. Vashudaiva Katumbakam. The world is one family and we must support each other. Throughout this week, we discuss global crises and agreed that we must bridge gaps between commitments to the Sustainable Development Agenda and its implementation. Multilateral organizations, including the UN and the international financial in in architecture, urgently need reform to fully recognize and leverage the significance of the Global South, from bolstering digital public infrastructure and innovative capacity building to strengthening the existing supply chains and addressing the debt crisis, India is setting an example for many UN member states from the Global South. Indeed, India's recent lunar mission, landing on the moon's South Pole, showcases the power of science and technology and what can be achieved when all countries have access to them. Undoubtedly, these foster inclusive and sustainable development, benefiting the entire Global South, and I commend India's pioneering role in its endeavors. Excellencies, this session, we will see several pivotal events on the UN Sustainable Development Calendar that bear profound impact on the Global South, including high-level meetings in the General Assembly, as well as the fourth SIDS conference, the third landlocked developing countries conference, and the global stock take of the Paris Agreement at COP28. Cooperation is indispensable in realizing the transformation we require, we aspire to achieve. The discussions to be held today regarding the Global South UN partnership and the exchange of best practices will certainly prove illuminating for all of us, and I'm eager to hear your insights.